Hi, I'm Ed from Cyvex, and this week on Cyvex Says, we've had a question asking, what is a fuel and ignition map? Um, why are they important? It would probably help if at this point, you look at our previous video on looking at and measuring engine load. Um, in simple terms, I'm sure we've all used or familiar with in one way or another, uh, an Excel spreadsheet or table. Uh, you've got columns and rows and values populated within them. Um, a fuel or ignition map is really very much a, a similar visually looking thing. So you'll have one column along the bottom, that might be RPM. You'll have another column up the side, that could be engine load. Um, engine load, as previously explained, could come from throttle position, it could come from a manifold pressure sensor, or it could also come from an airflow mass uh, meter, MAF. Um, quite simply, this table of RPM and load uh, visualizes uh, the operation region of where your engine will be running at any given point. Um, those cells on the map will be populated with values that relate to the amount of fuel required on your fuel map, or in the case of an ignition map, the amount of ignition advance uh, required to optimize the engine running at any given load. We call that a, a 3D map. Um, there are more ways uh, and more complicated things you can do, but at this stage, at this video, I think with this question, we'll just keep it fairly simple. Um, and um, what I'll do is somewhere on the screen, we'll have a, an example of a picture of what a fuel or ignition map might look like. Um, we'll show you that as a 2D form just to look at and also 3D. I hope you found this video useful. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them below. Uh, if you liked it, please click like and subscribe to our channel for any future videos.